So this is video number two in the editing of your Interactive American Flag page. Um, welcome back. We're going to focus now on the Fallen Patriot commemoration. Again, we're trying to highlight and, <clears throat> and honor the nearly 7,000 fallen combatants from the global war on terrorism. We will assign one to you here. In this case, we've got U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Chris Falkel, who interestingly was one of the inspirations for this whole project. And I'm going to go to, as it says here, the website fallen.militarytimes.com. And in here, you'll be able to look up your particular uh, combatant military service member that you were asked to do research on, and uh, or not research, but to commemorate. And this is a good place to start that. So we're going to jump in here. We're going to put in Falkel. All right, type right, do a search. And there we have Christopher M. Falkel, whole article about him. And this is one of the areas that we're going to copy and take back over to our page. Because when you are creating this commemoration, one of the areas you're going to put in is that page that you find to review the tribute, his tribute on the Military Times on the Fallen website, which is, seems to be the most complete website I've found on. Um, listing all the fallen. So now we're going to change. In this case it's already there, but basically this is how it works. You double click on that area, click here, take what you highlighted, <coughs> cut and paste it in here, and boom. Now you see that you've got the link to that particular site. Um, you also see this is something that you won't see in there, but I, I'm going to leave in now, uh, that we've created a special tribute to Staff Sergeant Falco because he was one of the he and his dad uh, were one of the inspirations for spikes through a nonprofit program. Um, so now we can actually go ahead and delete this stuff here that gives you more instructions about filling out the commemoration and the Fallen Patriot honor roll down below. We'll go ahead and customize the page or the picture. You guys have seen how to do that before. I just double click on the picture. We're going to replace the image <coughs> and we're going to upload a photo from our computer. case I've got a specific um, folder for Falkel. Steps on Chris Falkel. We'll pull that up. Select one of the pictures out of here. And I'm going to go with the, uh, the drawing from <coughs> Michael Reagan. Which I believe is right in here. There we go. We're going to put that one in there. Outstanding drawing. Uh, so how do I resize this? This came out huge. I didn't know it was going to be that big. So you go down the picture and you see when you come over it, it's going to automatically pop up with a little blue dot. And then I can just move it and shrink it down to a size that makes sense for this particular page. So again, if I can do this stuff, you guys can do it. It's pretty darn simple. Alright, so we've resized the picture. Now we've got a good look in commemoration coming together. Fallen Patriot commemoration for Staff Sergeant Chris Falkel. Again, this is unique to this page because of the uh, special uh, nature of us working with uh, Chris and, and his dad, Jeff. Um, I've gone ahead and in and I find, found other sites that he's on. He's on the Fallen Heroes Project commemoration. So you'll find three of these listings here. Again, you're just going to go in, go to that particular website. See if you can find your particular fallen combatant, fallen military service member, and when you do find them, just be able to reference that page. So in this case, I would take this here, copy down that page link, come back over to Weebly, and I would replace it in here. Okay, change or remove it. I would change it when I need to. It's already there. And then there's also the Fallen Heroes Memorial. Uh, I encourage you to go out and look at other sites, find more sites. Just type in a, the name of your Fallen um, Military Service member into a search engine and see what other sites you can list and add here. Um, you know, make this a central place to find all there is about their life and the, and the uh, um, you know, the, the way with which they carried themselves and, and uh, what they did to, um, you know, be an inspiration to all of us by putting them, themselves before others yourself as uh, before our country to make sure we have the freedoms we have. All right. 
that's how you take care of that commemoration. Just some simple links, but really it ends up being a fantastic uh, dedication to that particular military service member by having a place where you can find all this information on them. And they're tied to a flag which will, that will never go away and will always be known to remember when people visit you, uh, your business or home or whatever it might be. All right, so the Patriot Honor Roll. I've done a huge one because this is on my dad, uh, but it doesn't need to be this extensive unless you want to go crazy like I have where you can have pictures, text, more pictures, sound, videos, everything can be added and it's pretty simple I'll show you how it's how it's done um, and we'll do that in another video here shortly we'll go into a specific one for the Patriot Honor Roll all right thanks I hope that made sense as you can see the, the commemorations um, short sweet but impactful and again we, we encourage you to add other websites whatever it is that you want to add it's as simple as highlighting the words that's what you wanted to highlight and then hitting the link button and then create a link over whatever those words are that you wanted to create a link for all right you can do other things like center things bold them underline increase the size of the font change the color of the of the of the text lots of stuff that you can do here just play around with it have some fun it's pretty darn easy and uh, we'll start another short video here shortly specific to the Patriot Honor Roll.